Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel and happy, happy summer to you. Tyson's in the background, so he's joining us for the video. He keeps jiggling his chains so that might be, or not his chains, his tags, so that's probably what you hear when he shakes his head and he's forever chasing the cat around. I digress. Anyways, I want to talk to you today about how to sweat proof your makeup in the summer heat. Some of us live in communities or parts of the country where it is so oppressively hot in the summertime. And sometimes it might even feel like putting on makeup is like not even worth it because you're going to sweat it right off. That doesn't have to be the case. I've got some great products here and some tips for you. They're going to help you apply your makeup in the morning and it's going to last from sunup to sundown. You're going to love it. So let's jump right in. The first product I want to talk about is my favorite. I'm so stinking excited about these lipsticks. I don't know that you really sweat during the summer and wipe your lipstick off, but nevertheless, this is the Maybelline Superstay Vinyl Ink Lippy Products. I'm in love with these. I talked about this in my recent favorites video. I'll put a link up here or there or wherever it goes uh, to that particular video. But I went ahead and got this in some other shades and I am loving this stuff. You simply give the product a good shake, apply it onto your lips. This stuff stays on forever. I'm not even kidding you. Um, I don't, like I said, I don't know what it has to do with sweating, but it goes along with the theme of how to keep your makeup on all day long. You can even drink from a can, eat, and you still have color on your lips with this stuff. Look at this shade. Isn't that going to be fabulous for the 4th of July? I love it. Even going forward to Christmas, it's just a happy, fun shade. This, of course, is a great neutral for anybody. I'm going to go ahead and link these down in the comments below. If you want to go ahead and pick these up from my um, Amazon links, you will love these products. Trust me, you can't go wrong with them. Okay, the next product I want to talk about is the Mary Kay Makeup Finishing Spray. Now, normally you would think that you go ahead and you put all your makeup on and then you give yourself a spritz of this and that's all you need to do. No, ma'am. We are looking for makeup that is sweat proof, humidity proof, and it's going to last all day long. So the correct way to use this particular product is after you do your skincare, let it soak in and dry so that it's not tacky still on your skin or in any ways wet. Take the cap off, give it a shake, and you're going to apply this. If you're Catholic, you make the sign of the cross. You know what I'm talking about. We're going to go like this and then like this. Then you're going to go diagonal and make an X on your face. Hear me out. I know. It seems strange to be putting this on over your skincare, but we're going to go ahead and do it. Let that dry. Then you're going to go ahead in with your foundation, which is your very next step. The foundation that I absolutely am loving in this heat and humidity is the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop Matte Finish Foundation. This is a great foundation for the heat. This is great if you go out and you're sweating, riding your bike, or you can even work out in this stuff. Uh, normally, I don't like a matte finish for people my age, but this actually does not dry out my skin or make it look cakey in any way. This will really hold up in the humidity. However, if you're going to be out all day or you are really someone who is prone to having your makeup slide off your face or you're in a really particularly hot zone on vacation, apply your foundation right over the top of that setting spray. Repeat with the setting spray. So let your foundation dry. You're going to make the sign of the cross. Then you're going to make another X with your setting spray. Okay. While that's drying, what I like to do with my eyebrows is because sometimes I use a powder product to fill in my eyebrows. That will smear off, especially when I'm sweaty and I go like that, like an animal, and wipe it off. It tends to smear. It wipes right off. If you go ahead with a, this is the Mary Kay Volumizing Brow Tint. And mine is in brunette. Paint this right on. This is going to last through the heat and the sweat. It doesn't come off until you take it off. And it's not really going to fill them in too much, but if you have any white hairs or discolored hair that doesn't match the hair on your head, this is a beautiful product. And it does make them look fuller because you tend to get a sparse look when sometimes you actually aren't missing eyelashes. It's just because they've lightened up with age and they turn a different color. So this is a fabulous product for that as well. And for eyeliner, this is a great product. I love this. This is, the, this is by Essence, which means this is a drugstore product. It's super inexpensive. I think I paid 3 or $4 for these, maybe not even that much. The Essence Extreme Lasting Eye Pencil, and it's waterproof. Um, I have it in black. Wait, I have it in black love, and I also have it in black midnight sky. You can see it's kind of like a charcoal. Love these pencils. You do have to sharpen them. They don't, you know, self-sharpen. Mine means sharpen. It's phenomenal for, you know, lining your eyes, of course. But if you're going to go in tight line, a lot of times it's really difficult to get tight line eyeliner to stay in put for even more than five minutes when you're using a regular run-of-the-mill eyeliner. You can tight line with this stuff. Even if you're, it's not a sweaty day, it's a dead of winter, maybe you're in Alaska, this stuff will stay in your waterline. Doesn't irritate your eyes, doesn't smudge or smear. Love it for the waterline. And of course, in these hot summer months, if you're out, you want to go with these. These are great, super inexpensive, comes in a variety of colors. I don't know how many off the top of my head, but there was quite a selection at my drugstore. 
So you go ahead and apply your line liner. The next thing you want to do is after you've put your foundation on and done your setting spray, if you have any products coming through, like say some of your skincare started to seep through, or it's still warm when you're putting your makeup on. That's happened to me plenty of times where my house is warmer. I get a little bit warm when I'm getting ready sometimes if I'm hurrying. You can start to perspire right through your foundation. Enter the blotting papers. Love these. You simply grab yourself a blotting paper and you just touch it. You don't rub, you touch it. And what it does is it absorbs the extra sweat, oil, or product that's coming through, but it will not move your foundation. I love these, love these. I always have these in my purse, I'm never without because you know, sometimes if you're out and it's been like eight hours, and maybe it's not even a hot day, sometimes you start to, a little bit of oil will come out in your T-zone or wherever it is you're oily, and you look like not very put together. You can just simply touch this to your face, give it a tap, crumble them up, and throw them in the garbage. They're super thin, super light to just put in your purse. Uh, again, these are the Mary Kay Beauty Blotters, oil-absorbing tissues. Love these. And especially when you're building up your face, like what I'm, what I'm describing here to you, if any of that skincare would start to seep through because you're warm or for whatever reason, Go ahead and blot it down. Love these. Gotta get you some of these. Another thing is a cream eyeshadow. These are great in the summertime because unlike your powdered eyeshadows products, these won't move your cream eyeshadows. So invest in a good cream eyeshadow. Um, these are not that very expensive. I've seen lots at the drugstore. A good cream eyeshadow, tap it in. It's gonna last throughout the day. They're waterproof and sweatproof. Love that. You can even go whitewater rafting with these, I've been told, and their eyeshadow didn't move. So. Hey, that's a pretty good one, right? The last product I want to talk to you about, about sweat proofing your makeup. Okay. This is a translucent powder, Mary Kay translucent powder. And it's white. Every skin color can use this, even if you have dark skin. I don't think you can see that. This is merely a translucent powder, which also helps to absorb oil. So now that your foundation's on, You've done your setting spray. You're gonna to wanna to lightly, lightly take your powder brush and just dust this over the top of all of your makeup. If you want to, if you're really a girl that really pulls a lot of oil or it's very sweaty or say it's your wedding, you can take a wet sponge, wet it underneath the water. You wanna squeeze it and release it about, about 15 times, really, so that that sponge is like twice its normal size. Then tap it into the powder and you can push it right into the skin. That's really gonna help really secure your makeup. Another thing you can do is I take my blender brush, I get some of the product. If you want your lipstick to stay, girls, this is a great tip. Put on one coat of lipstick and then go in with this. Tap that right on your lips. It won't change the color of your eyes, or your lipstick rather. It might make it look a little bit matte, but we're getting there. Okay, so you'd go all over your lips. I don't wanna do that while I'm trying to talk. Give it a minute while it absorbs the extra oils. Put on another coat of your lipstick. Go back in with your translucent powder. And if you have to, go in a third time. Your lipstick's not going anywhere, girls. This is a phenomenal product. If you have oily eyelids, you could do the same on your eyelids. Just put it right on over the top. It's gonna absorb all the oil on your eye, um, oily eyelids. If you're fortunate enough to get oily eyelids, some people think it's a curse. It's really not because you know what? If you've got oily eyelids, you're not gonna get crinkly eyelids when you get older like me because your skin is dry and there was no oil there to help lubricate them. So it's not really a curse. Nevertheless, you're gonna wanna go and do your final spray with your handy dandy setting powder. Your makeup is gonna last all day for your wedding. If you're out with the family, if you're on vacation, you will absolutely fall in love with a good setting powder, translucent powder, and don't forget your oil absorbing blotting tissues. These are the bomb diggity. So if you have any other questions about how to foolproof, sweat proof your makeup, please reach out to me. I'd love to answer any questions that you might have. If you enjoyed this video and found value, please hit the subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up. That way you'll know when other videos are coming out. Thanks and I hope you've enjoyed what we had to talk about today.